Hey guys, this is Justin from Creator Up. I teach the How to Crack the Kickstarter Code class, and today I'm going to answer a question from Peter of Motley Planet. His campaign will be coming here soon in the next couple weeks, and you should definitely check it out. So Peter was asking about how much noise do you need to have, or how much noise do you need to have made before you launch a Kickstarter campaign? What kind of Facebook presence do you need, or what kind of Twitter presence do you need? How big of an audience do you need and a following before you launch? So the first thing that I mentioned is that I would ask the question, how much are you trying to raise? If you're trying to raise five, maybe 10 grand, I think you can do that from your own social circle, no matter how wealthy they are. Five to 10 grand from your friends and family is completely doable if you work hard enough at it and you really push hard enough. But when you need to raise more than $10,000, that's where you really need to start bringing in people who have never heard about you before or you need to have a big audience in advance. And the question is, is, how do you do that? So obviously I think it's best if you have a big Facebook following or a big Twitter following in advance, but some people don't have that. So that's where you need to reach out to people who do, or people who can help spread your word for you. So the first and foremost thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna reach out to uh, journalists and people who have an audience who can write about you and write about your campaign. And as much of this as you can line up in advance is great. So there's a great article by, on Tim Ferriss' blog uh, by the guys who did the Soma, I think it was called the Soma Water Filter on Kickstarter, and they raised 100 grand in 10 days. I highly suggest checking out that link, and I'm sure we'll have it somewhere on the Creator Up page. But to kind of continue, who else has a big audience, or who else can you get involved in your campaign that might have a bigger social following than you have on your own? For instance, the people on your team if it's a movie, perhaps the, perhaps the actors have a big social media following, the other producers, the director, and so on. How can you utilize their friends, their family, and their audiences to help leverage and expand your own audience? So that's one thing. Another way to do this, like I said, is reaching out to people in the press or journalists. Anyone who can name drop you or spread the word. If you can line these things up in advance, that preparation will be so handy. And with that said, what you want to do is you want to give them tools that they can use to really help spread the word for you. So one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make is they line up people who say they will help, but then they don't provide tools that they can use to actually help. So you're going to want to provide these people maybe with a little one pager that says, this is how you can help. Maybe you provide, you know, one sheets that they can post on their Facebook page that says, hey, we're doing this, you know, here's information about it, here's the day it launches, and so on. You're going to want to give as many tools to the people helping you out and helping you spread the word as possible. So before you launch, more than anything, prepare instructions and items that people can use to help spread the word for you. So that's a little bit about what you can do to help build the noise for your campaign. And... Uh, yeah, I'm Justin of Creator Up, and I teach how to crack the Kickstarter's code. Check it out.